Anzo County Sheriff Hans Miller is not seeking re-election after serving the community for almost two terms. The sheriff tells Nine on Your Side he has no regrets for any decisions he's made during his time in office. Nine on Your Side's Camila Barco is live outside the sheriff's office after having a one-on-one -on -one with Miller. And what, what is he telling you, Camila? Well, Angie, Sheriff Hans Miller tells me the decision to not seek another term as sheriff was made last year. His goal has been to modernize this agency, and he's made a list of all the accomplishments he has done on this paper. Some of those include adding patrol zones 24-7, reducing the response time to calls, and launching a driving while impaired task force. Sheriff Hans Miller has one year left to work for the people of Onslow County. I don't want to say mission accomplished because I think that was misused during the war. <laughs> this week, he made an announcement to not seek re-election. The vision that I had at the beginning, I, I think um, I accomplished what I set out to do. Miller's law enforcement career spans decades. He was previously chief of police of Albert J. Ellis Airport. A few months after retiring, he took office as a county sheriff. But there were other things that needed to be changed. During his time in office, he set up a substation in Sneeds Ferry, taken drug dealers off the streets, and launched a Citizens Law Enforcement Academy. It is very important for the people to be able to see what their sheriff's office does. Miller has responded to hundreds of cases, but there's one that lives with him till this day. Well, something that weighs heavy on my heart. There's a little girl there was a little girl called little Mariah. Mariah Woods was three years old when she disappeared from her Onslow County home in 2017. She was later found dead in a creek in Pender County. Sheriff Miller's term is up late next year, but he says there's still work left to be done. The agency is looking to get body cameras. Some people make allegations against law enforcement, but a camera doesn't lie. After six and a half years of sitting in this office, there's only one word to describe it. Happy. Now filing for a chance to become Onslow County's next sheriff is scheduled to start in January. The primaries are scheduled, scheduled in March. Candidates who have majority votes will move on to the November elections next year. Live in Jacksonville, Camila Barco, not on your side.